Some of the books that are in the Bible are kind of dangerous. And one of the, my favorites to pick on that I don't believe should be in the Bible is Song of Solomon. It's short. You can read it in less than half an hour, but it has nothing to do with God. It has nothing to do with anything important. I'm going to read some of, uh, some of the worst parts of this. It gets progressively worse the further you go. So I'm going to start in chapter 7, verse 2 here, for example. Your navel is a round mixing bowl. May it never lack mixed wine. Your belly is a mound of wheat encircled by lilies. Your two breasts are like two fawns, twins of a gazelle. Your neck is like a tower made of ivory. Your eyes are the pools in Heshbon by the gate of bath Rabim. Your nose is like the tower of Lebanon overlooking Damascus. In other words, she has a long nose like Pinocchio. And I've tried for years to figure out what the belly being a mound of wheat was supposed to mean, you know. It makes me think of wheat bread or some kind of wheat pasta. You know, it, it, that's weird. And when I've looked through Song of Solomon before, you know, I thought, hmm, there's a lot about animals and food in here. But I just don't understand what this is supposed to be about. So, that's, that's weird. Um... Okay, going on to verse 7. Your stature is like a palm tree, and your breasts are like clusters of grapes. I want to climb the palm tree and take hold of its fruit stalks. May your breasts be like clusters of grapes, and may the fragrance of your breath be like apples. Okay, well, there's some more fruit. I know what grapes and apples are. But what does that have to do with breasts? I don't get it. Um, and um, chapter 8, verse 1. Oh, how I wish you were my little brother, nursing at my mother's breasts. If I saw you outside, I could kiss you. Surely no one would despise me. Okay, so she wants to turn her husband into her little brother. Okay, let's see now. There's, there's a lot of weird stuff in here. Okay, um, chapter 8, verse 8. We have a little sister, and as yet she has no breasts. What shall we do for our sister on the day when she is spoken for? <laughs> okay, just, just let her grow up and get breasts, you know? You don't have to do anything. You know? <laughs> and... This, okay, here's verse 10. This, this, is, this is the kind that gave me nightmares. You know, I read this. Okay, I was a wall and my breasts were like fortress towers. Then I found favor in his eyes. You know, I used to read Song of Solomon a lot. And one night after, after that, I had this terrible nightmare that these breast towers were falling on me and killed me. You know, and that's just one of many things that keeps me single. So altogether, I have to say that Song of Solomon is complete nonsense, and it's confusing, and it can give you nightmares, and I just don't think it should be included in the Bible. So when people ask me if I think that the whole Bible, all 66 books, is the inspired word of God, no, I do not. And this video is just an example of why.